And now, a game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble and every move could be your last. High Rollers! And now, here's the man with all the action, your host of High Rollers, Brandon Scrubs! Thank you all so much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in to another edition of High Rollers right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could be here with us once again. Well, it's time for us to roll these dice and try to give away some more money here on the show. And hopefully our returning champion will have the luck of the dice with him as he tries to continue his strive toward five and make and qualify for our tournament champion. So let's meet him now. Returning back to us here with a grand total so far in cash and prizes of $56,709. Please welcome back Mr. Jose Cazares. Thank you very much. Good to be back. Glad to have you back here with us, Jose. Again, uh, managed to win the championship on the last episode, so you're one down and four away from qualifying. Uh, remind the good folks at home a little bit about yourself. Certainly. I am a... Full-time college student, currently the, at the age of 23 at the time of taping. I come from the state of Texas, and I am studying early childhood education in college. And when you're not busy studying or in school and that, what else do you like to do for fun? Well, I tend to game a lot. Uh, been uh, hopping back on the Fortnite grind as of late, but I've also been uh, hosting some game shows around here at MVG as well. Oh, fantastic. Well, good luck on playing, uh, going for your second win today. Uh, and let's meet your challenger that's going to try to stop you and start his run toward the, the tournament champions. A uh, new player here to High Rollers, please welcome in Mr. Ray Weaver. Hello. On the show, Ray. I think this might be the first time I've had you on one of my game shows here in a hot minute. But let's remind the good folks at home a little bit about yourself, sir. Well, uh, I am a. Uh ship lead at a bagel shop 34 years old and i got too many jobs to list in this oh. time oh i understand that well uh, what part of the country you hail from virginia oh, okay yeah my neighbors are the north there because i'm in north carolina so you're not too far off all right well when you're not busy uh making bagels and locks for folks uh what do you like to do for fun uh bowl I work for the high school basketball team. Takes up too much time to do anything else, really. I I hear you. Um, so you're a bowler as well. I know Nels is a is for a long time has been a bowler. What's your best score you've had? Two seventy nine. That's impressive, sir. Not bad. <laughs> best I've ever done is like a two hundred. So I'm like, I, but again, I'm such an amateur at it, and I haven't bowled in so long. I'm like, I'd have to get back on that grind again before I ever got thinking about getting close. But anyway, glad to have you aboard here on High Rollers. Good luck to you both. Uh, it's time to play our game. Let's get to it. All right, as you guys know, the name of the game is to try to remove the numbers off our board in order to clear the columns. You clear a column, you're going to win some great prizes. Uh, clear the board or force your opponent to roll a bad number, and you'll win a game. It takes two games to win the match, and winner will go on to the big numbers for a chance at $100,000 in cash. All right, so with that said, let's take a look and see the prizes we're going to be playing with here. Starting first off in column number one, we have a Canadian cruise for $25,390. That is a great price to start off there. Big one there. And column two, we have the trip to Vail, Colorado. We have the Toyota Yaris. It was on the board last time. And those two prizes combined for $22,364. And finally, in column number three, we have that trip to Aspen. We have the snowmobile. And to that, I think we're adding a massage chair this time worth $1,800. Making column three worth 15314 and a total board value for game number one of $63,068. So lots of great prizes up there to be won. Let's see how 
you'll have to get them by lining up the numbers for game one. And looks like, sadly, no hot column this time. Aww. All right, well, we'll hold off on that hot column bonus. Maybe we'll get in the next game here. All right, um, Jose going for game for his second match win, and Ray looking to be the cha uh, challenger to stop him. Good luck to you both. Hands on buzzers, and we'll start with this first question. Gib, Gates, or Gallagher? What's the surname of the brothers who make up the Bee Gees? Ooh. All right, correct answer there is Gib. They're the Gib ah. brothers there. It's all right. No harm, no foul. We'll just move on to another question. The hippie, the stomach, or the pelvis? Which of these is uh, one of Elvis Presley's nicknames? And that's Jose. Hippie? No, I'm sorry. It's actually the pelvis. It is the pelvis is one of his nicknames. And I, I, I don't even want to know how he got that name. <laughs> well, uh, it goes back to his early days when he was first on the uh, Ed Sullivan show where he was dancing and the, and the people at the time thought his dancing was so provocative they had to shoot him from the waist up. So his, uh, well, the way his hips were moving, he was shaking his pelvis. So that's, that's where the nickname comes from. So Wow. Fun, fun musical facts from history. But anyway, all right, Ray, you've got control of the dice, sir. First roll of the day is yours, since all rolls are good. You just tell me when you roll. All right, roll. Well. And your roll is a nine. Um, Let's do the seven and a two. All right, seven and two come off the board. All right, leaves now a roll of 12 for column one and a roll of seven for column three. Art gallery, museum, or restaurant? What is a trattoria in Italy? That's T-R-A-T-T-O-R-I-A. -T -T -R what is a trattoria in Italy? An art gallery, a museum, or a restaurant? Mm -mm. It is a restaurant, believe it or not. Ooh. And I apologize to any Italian viewers out there if I butchered your language. I am terribly, terribly sorry. Kit, Kerrison, or Hal? What is the name of the computer in the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey? Oh, my God. And Jose? Uh, Kit? No, I'm sorry. It's actually Hal. It's Hal oh. is the name. Dang it. Yeah, Kit was the name of the car from uh, Knight Rider there. But that's okay. Ah. All right, um, Ray, the only bad roll is technically a two, which is a double, so all rolls for you are technically still good. Go ahead and give it a roll. All right, let's roll. And the quick roll is a seven. Six and the one. Six and the one come off the board, and you just picked up column number three. All right, those prices go over to your side of the lectern, but again, they're only yours should you win the round. All right, here comes your next question. And so... Ann Sullivan, Dorothy Sullivan, or Roberta Sullivan? What is the name of Helen Keller's teacher? Jose. I think that'd be Ann Sullivan. Ann Sullivan is correct. Very good. All right. Um, you control the dice, Jose. You have the option. Bad rolls for you are six and ten. Would you like to roll or pass? I will take my chances. Okay. I'll roll. Dice are yours. All right. Now. And you got a double. Oh, well. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the one double that's not going to help you at this point, but it's okay. <clears throat> well, No harm in that. I'm just going to hold on the insurance marker and tell you to roll again. All right. Let's see if I can get a good number here. And it's a four. Well, only way to do it is the four by itself. And four comes off the board. Now leaving a roll of eight to clear column number one. Arm, nose, or ear? Which of these parts of the body is the most important for the sense of balance? Again, arm, nose, or ear? Which of these parts of the body is most important for sense of balance? Mm, Time. I... Believe it or not, it's actually your ear. 
Oh, well, that would have been wrong. Yeah, your inner ear uh, has where you, your equilibrium gets affected by. So it's okay. No harm. We'll try this question. Tennessee, Maine, or Montana? And which U.S. state will you find Glacier National Park? Again, Tennessee, Maine, or Montana? Jose. Maine? No, I'm sorry. That one's actually Montana. It's actually oh, found it in Montana. That's okay. Dang it. All right. Uh, Ray, uh, dice are yours, sir. Uh, bad rolls for you are four, six, seven, and ten. Would you like to roll it or pass? I would like to pass, please. Okay. I figured. Jose, dice are yours. All right. Let's see if I can make the most of this now. Oh, it's a four. It's a bad roll, and that means Ray picks up game number one. Very nice, sir. Ray's on the board first. Got $15,314 in prizes so far. But again, don't worry, Jose, because remember, it takes two games to win the match, so you can easily catch up here. So let's go ahead and jump straight into game number two by putting some more prizes on the board. Let's see what we're playing with this time. Starting in column one, we find the Canadian Cruise, and to go with that, we're adding a brass headboard for $1,500, making column one now worth $26,890. Column two has the trip to Vail, the Toyota Yaris, and now we're adding a kitchen to that one there. So that makes column two now worth $29,240. And column three was captured, so we're going to start with a fresh prize there. And it is a 15-piece camping equipment set for $1,747. And making our total board value in game two $57,877. Very nice. And now let's see how the numbers line up. And looks like we do have a hot column this time. Column number three. Roll a 10. That take pick you up that uh, camping equipment. Also, you'll pick up our hot column bonus of $5,000. All right. Let's see if Jose can play some catch up here or if Ray will become the new champion as we start game two with this question. Two, three, or six. In cooking, how many teaspoons equal one tablespoon? And that's Jose. Three? Yes, three, te yes, three teaspoons equal a tablespoon. You're correct. All right. All right. And the first roll of this match is yours. I got to play some catch up here if I want to stay alive. Here we go. Now. And first roll is a seven. Seven by itself. Seven comes off the board. And again, another roll of seven will clear column number two. The Waltons, Friends, or the Flintstones? Who are televisions Rachel, Monica, Chandler, Jose? Friends. Chandler, Ross, Phoebe, and Joey, they are friends. You are correct, sir. All right. And the dice are once again yours. All right. And now... Roll well, is a double. There, there we, we go. go. There's a double you can use. Gives you an insurance marker. And you've rolled an eight. I will knock off the eight by itself. All right. Eight off by itself comes off the board. And here comes your next question. Mrs. Tiggy, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, Tony the Tiger, or Sheer Khan? Oh, sorry. Let me, re let me refresh that. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, Tony the Tiger, or Tigger? Who is Winnie the Pooh's tiger friend? Jose. That would be the constant bouncer, Tigger. Tigger is correct. Very good. You're all right. And again, dice are still yours. All rolls are good. All right. Now. And you got yourself a seven. I'll take the six and the one. Six and one come off the board, and you picked up column number two. Very nice for you. And again, over $29,000 prizes can be yours should you win this round. All right. We'll continue on with the next question. Rhinoceros, elk, or walrus? Which of these animals grows ivory? And that's Jose. The rhinoceros? No, believe it or not, it's actually the walrus. Ah! The walrus actually no, grows the ivory. The other one I was stuck between. Dang it. Yeah, kind of fell for the trap on that one, but that's okay. Uh, Ray, you've got control of the dice, sir, and all rolls are good. All right, let's roll. 
And a roll is a nine. Hmm. Couple options there. Let's, yeah. Let's take out the four and the five. Four and five come off the board. All right, that leaves now another roll of nine to clear column one, and a roll of five now will clear column three. Conran, Conan, or Connor? Who was the muscle-bound barbarian played? That's Jose. Uh, Conan. Played by Arnold Schwarzenegger in the 1981 movie, Conan the Barbarian is correct. All right. All right, Jose, options yours this time. Good rolls are 2, 3, 5, 9, 11, and 12. I will pass. Okay. All right, shoes on the other foot here. Let's see what all you can right. do with it. It's, all right, roll. The roll is a 3. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Get rid of the 3, please. 3 comes off the board. All right, that leaves a 2 and a 9 left up there, but a roll of 11 will clear the board and give a game to someone. So let's see how it plays out. Here's your next question. Jerry Ariba, Speedy Gonzalez, or the Roadrunner? Which cartoon mouse is the fastest of all Mexico? Jose. Speedy Gonzalez. Orale, you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. All right, sir. Two, nine, and eleven is all that's left up there. How are we feeling? You want to roll or pass? You do have an insurance marker. I do have a marker, but I can't risk it. Ray, it's all yours, buddy. All right, Ray. Two, okay. two or let's nine. Hope for my day. Let's hope for the day of my birthday. Let's roll. Let's roll right away and gets an 11. Oh that's going to clear Lord, the board. You... And Ray, you are a new champion. Are you kidding me? so stunned what the heck well the dice work in mysterious ways and it works out in favor of our challenger ray you are our new champion congratulations <laughs> going on to play the big numbers here in just a minute jose it's not that i don't think that you played bad just luck happens to be on the side of the challenger on this one but uh can't you can't fault yourself too too much on that because i think you, you did as well as you could just again dice weren't on your side today but did you, you enjoy your time here with us? I did. I just a complete turnaround from the last game I managed to win, but I'm just I'm just stunned that Ray managed to pull it off. But well, he it, he deserves the title for pulling that off. Well, that that's the way it r plays out sometimes. You never know what these dice are going to do. But hey, you're not leaving here by any means empty-handed. You are leaving here with a very nice prize package and some cash you won last time to the tune of $56,709, sir. Hey, you know what? For one game, I can't complain about that. I'll take it. Yeah, it's a nice thanks to done, but well done for you. So congratulations. We'll see you uh, hopefully another episode later on this season. But for right now, Ray over here has got the win. He has picked up $43,951 in cash and prizes. And in just a moment, Ray's going to take those golden dice and see if he can't roll his way to $100,000 as he takes on the big numbers. We'll do that right after the break here on High Rollers. Stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers here with our new champion, Ray. He has won himself his first game here. He's already picked up over $43,000 in prizes, and now he was here's his chance to really pick up some cash here to play the big numbers, Ray. As you know, in a moment I'll give you the golden dice. Your objective is to remove all nine numbers off our big numbers board here. For every number that you take out, I'll give you $1,000. Get rid of all nine, however. I'm going to pay you $100,000, all right? All right. Now, remember, you can earn insurance markers in this round as well because those will be very pivotal for you to try to win all the money, all right? So best all of right, luck to I'm you. ready. Here's the golden dice. Let's go get that money. Good luck. All right, let's roll. First roll up is a 10. And it's a double. Very nice. All right, so give me an insurance marker. How do you want to play the 10? Six and the four. Six and four, okay. Six and four come off the board, just like that. You've got yourself $2,000. Roll All it right, again. let's go. Roll again, and you've got another double with an eight. 
Let's get rid of the eight by itself. All right, eight by itself comes off the board up to three thousand dollars. All right, let's do it. Let's roll an eight again. Uh, five and a three. All right, five and three come off the board. You're up to five thousand dollars. Right. Rolls left. Going. One, two, seven, and nine. Let's go. Roll is an 11. Nine and the two. All right, nine and two come off the board. You're up to $7,000 now. Only There's actually one good roll left is an eight. You must roll an eight to win the 100,000. If you roll a seven, however, you'll get the extra thousand, but you'll orphan the one, and you'll forfeit the chance at the 100th grand because you can't roll one on a pair of dice. So. Okay. I got I'm I feel it. Let's roll it. Rolls and gets a five. It's a bad roll, so I'll take one of your insurance markers and roll again. Right, let's do it. It's another double. It's okay. a ten, but again, bad roll, so I'll just keep this insurance marker. Tell you to roll again. Alright, All right, let's do it. And gets a six. That's also a bad roll. Alright, last chance. You must roll an eight. Alright. Let, all right, come on, let's do it. And it is a seven. Oh, no. Oh. That's going to be it, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, well. But, hey, not bad, though. $8,000 there f for you in that round. And when we add that to your previous winnings, it gives you now a one-game cash and prizes totaling. $51,951, sir. Not bad. Not bad at all. And, <laughs> and the most important part is, too, that you're now the champion, so you're going to play in our second game. And we'll get to that second game on the other side of this break. We'll come back to more high rollers right after this. Welcome back to High Rollers here. Our new champion, Mr. Ray Weaver, has now got $51,951 in cash and prizes, and he's ready to take on his next opponent. So let's meet him now, coming to us by way of the state of Wisconsin. Please welcome in Mr. Scott Michaels. What's up, Brandon? How are you doing, Scott? Welcome back to High Rollers, sir. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Last time out, I think you just finished. You you picked up a thousand dollars for a round, but you weren't able to win your first match there. So, back here to get another chance at the dice. Remind the good folks at home a little about you, real quick. Yeah, my name is Scott Michaels, like you said, from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Um, actually, with time of date, about to move, so that'll be kind of scary, kind of fun. Uh, college student avid bowler as well with ray uh and yeah love video games love game shows and hopefully this time a shakespeare question won't kill me as <laughs> ironic as that is uh to be or not to be that is the question the answer we still don't know to this point <laughs> but all right well welcome back to high rollers good luck to you got a fine challenger here and a good champion so this should be a great game here between these two so good luck to you both before we get started, though, we need some prizes, don't we? So let's see what we're dealing with. Starting in column number one, we got a brand new spare. Everybody loves the spare. They're worth seven thousand five hundred sixty-two dollars. It's almost a spare. Yes, I knew Jay would perk up there. Yes, we're playing for a spare. <laughs> column one. And column two, we find a tri the trip to Vail, Colorado, the Toyota Yaris, the kitchen, and adding to that now, we have a 22-inch outdoor LCD HD TV ABC123 TV, worth <laughs> $2,595, making column two now worth $31,835. And finally, in column three, we have a living room group with 40-inch 3D TV and a year of Netflix worth $5,135 and making our total board value for game one $44,532. All right, great prizes to play for here. Let's see how it winds up as we put the numbers up there. 
All right, and we do have a hot column this time. Column number three. A roll of 11 can get you that living room group plus a free year of Netflix. So. All right, Ray looking for his second win. Scott looking to stop him here. And let's get started here with this first question. The Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, or the Tropic of Capricorn? Which line divides the Earth into northern... And that's Scott. The Equator. Divides it into northern and southern hemispheres. The equator is correct. All right. And first roll of this game is yours, sir. All right. Come on. Give me some insurance. Yeet! He eats the dice and finds a four. Uh, Four hard way. All right. Hard, or hard four, I should say. Yes. Four by itself comes off the board. Needing now a roll of 11. We'll also clear column two as well. Here's your next one. Harrison Ford. Gerald Ford or Henry Ford? Which Ford founded the Ford Motor Company? Scott. Uh, the, the, the Henry Ford. Henry Ford is correct. I saw your brain panic there for just a second, but you, you picked it up and you've got the dice once again. Uh, I almost said Harrison, but I was like, other H, other H. <laughs> Come on! And the roll is a nine. Hard nine. All right, nine by itself comes off. And now a roll of ten will clear column number one. Mucha Mocha, Broadway Brewhouse, or Central Perk? At which coffee house do the Friends... Scott. Central Perk. Friends and the TV series meet. Central Perk is correct. All right, Scott. Dice are still yours once again. Come on. Eleven. And the roll is an eight. Hmm. Ah, let's say bye to the hot column. Hard eight. All right. Eight by itself comes off. Hot column bonus out of play for this round. Uh, leaves a roll of three. Now we'll clear column number three. Here's your next one. Mademoiselle, Senorita, or Sayonara? Which title of the address is used for an unmarried Spanish woman? Scott. Senorita. Ole, you're correct. All right, dice are once again yours. All rolls are still good. Hey. And it is an 11. There oh, <laughs> one roll hey. late for the hot column. I will take it because it's the biggest column, the five and the six. Five and six come off the board, and you just picked up column number two. Very nice. That is yours again, should you win the round. So, and surprisingly, four numbers left up there. All rolls are still good. Here comes your next question. Chuck, Dave, or Hank? To what did singer Charles Berry change his first name to? Scott again. Chuck? Yeah, Chuck Berry is correct, sir. All right, all rolls are still good, so here are the dice. Lord Almighty, don't let me roll boxcars. Yeah. <laughs> and the roll is a three. Um, two and one. All right, two and one come off the board, and you just picked up column number three as well. Scott looking to try to make a clean sweep here of the board. We'll see if our champion can jump in here and try to stop him here. Here comes your next question. Ice, snow, or steam? What does water turn to at 212 degrees Fahrenheit? And that's Scott again. It goes to steam. Yes, steam is correct. All right, sir. Three, seven, and ten are the only good rolls left. You want to roll it or pass? Dre, if you can roll one of them, you deserve the round. Take them. All right, passing it over. All right, Ray, first chance to do something this round. A 10 gets you the get you the game. All right, let's do it. Rolls, and oh, no, it's an 8. Scott picks up game one. I got a card. <laughs> he did. Congratulations on that. He's won himself a car. He's won himself some great prizes. Already $36,970. I didn't strike out on that one. Yep, you're definitely taking something home for <laughs> sure. So good job there. 
Um, let's see if our champ can play a little catch up here as we clear the board and go into game number two. But before we do that, we must put some more prizes on the board because that sounds like a good idea to do. So let's do it. In column one, we to go with that spare. We're going to be adding an electronic dartboard worth over $3,500. That was one of those nice ones there. Column one now worth $11,057. In column two, we start with a new prize there. It's a fire pit worth $3,783. And finally, in column three, to go there, we have a motorcycle worth $7,199. And our total board value for this game, $22,039. I will say, for the limited amount of prizes that are on that board right now, that is actually a huge total for, like, four mm -hmm. things. So, a lot of good value up there. Let's see if our players can win it as they load in the numbers. And Ooh. we do have a hot column. And it is the most expensive column up there. $11,000 in prizes can be yours if you can roll me a seven, which is the most common roll. So... We might actually see a hot column bonus go down on this one. Let's find out if we can. Ray trying to play some catch up. Scott trying to become the new champion. Here comes your first question. Liver, kidney, or heart? Which part of a kind of generous person is said to be made of gold? And that is Scott. They have a heart of gold. That is a heart of gold. You are correct, sir. All right, dice are yours, and all rolls are good. Come on, I've been throwing darts. Let me see a seven, please. And it's a double. Hey! It is a 10. First off, for the insurance markers, yours, and how you want to play it. All right, I'll do it the even harder way. One, two, three, four. One, the two, the three, and the four. Come off the board. You've got column one. Money. Yes, you do. $11,057 plus that hot column bonus of $5,000. And that's yours guaranteed no matter what happens the rest of the game. So well done there. All right. Starting off hot on this one. Let's see what happens. Here comes your next question. Semicolon, exclamation point, or question mark. When written down, which punctuation mark follows a command, shout, or surprise? And that's Scott. Exclamation mark. Yes, that is correct. All right, Scott. Um, bad rolls for you are three, four, and ten. Would you like to roll or pass? I have a marker, so I will take them. Okay. Here they are. Come on. Go. And it's a ten, uh. which is a bad roll, so I'm going to have to take that insurance marker from you and ask you to roll again. Okay, please keep me in the game. Keep me in the game. Roll. It's a oh! it's a bad roll, and Ray's tied it up. Well, well, well. Wow. <laughs> How the turns have tabled all of a sudden, and Ray's <laughs> on the board with $1,000. All right. It's one all. It's a tie match. Let's see who's going to move on to the big numbers as we load in their prizes one more time. For this tiebreaker game. Starting in column one, we find the spa, the electronic dartboard, and a trip to Vancouver. Of course, $7,500. Column one now worth $18,557. In column two, we have a fire pit worth $3,073 and an espresso machine, making column two now worth $5,763. And in column three, to go with the motorcycle there, we have the camper, worth almost $10,000 there, making column three now worth $17,110, and a board value now of $41,430. All right, let's see, break this tie, load in those numbers one more time. And we do have a hot column. Column number three, roll of 11 will give you $17,000 in prizes, all right? This determines who goes on the big numbers. Good luck to you both. Here is your first question. Kenny Rogers, Glenn Campbell, or Johnny Cash? Which singer is famously known as the Man in Black? That's Scott. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is correct. 
And first roll of the dice is yours. All right, go! And you got yourself a seven. Mm, hard way. Seven comes off the board. All right, leaves a roll of four now for to clear column number three. Here's your next one. Start fires, make love, or steal things. Kleptomania. Scott. Steal things. There's a compulsive urge to do what? Steal things is correct. All right. All rolls are all rolls are still good. All right, let's go. And you got yourself a four. <laughs> it's right there. Three and one. Three and one come off the board, and you just got column number three. Yeah, very nice there. Close to your side of the board. And we'll see if you can pick it up here as we now have a bad roll on the board of three. Here comes your next question. Africa, Antarctica, or Asia? On what continent would you find the country of South Korea? That's Scott. Asia. Asia is correct. <laughs> Church of Ulta. I must say, I must say there, is, there is definitely some insider jokes on that one, folks, that some of you at home may not get, but that, that was a funny one. All right, Scott, uh, only bad roll is a three. Would you like to roll it or pass? Considering how last round went, not risking it at all. Ray can have it. All right, Ray. He's passing the dice over to you. Just don't roll a three. All uh, right, let's roll. Roll is a double. There we go. Insurance market for you, Ray. Gives you a 10 now. Um, Let's get rid of these. Six and four. All right, six and four both come off the board. Leaving now a roll of nine will clear column number one. Precious gemstones, cartoon cowboys, or national parks? What are Yosemite and Yellowstone? Scott? National parks. National parks is correct. <laughs> Thought I might trip, might have tripped you up with Yosemite first there, but okay. You didn't fall for it, and you've got control of the dice, sir. Bad rolls for you are three, four, six. You want to roll it or pass? Pass it. Pass it over. All right. Right? All right. Let's do it. The roll is a four, which is a bad roll, but you do have an insurance marker, so we'll take that from you and ask you to roll again. All right. Roll. Roll is a nine. Get rid of the nine. Nine comes off, and you just picked up column number one. All right. Both players now with a column worth of prizes, so somebody's going to win something nice off of this one. So all that's left on the board, two, five, and eight. Orange and pineapple, lemon and lime, or grapefruit and lemon? Which two fruits flavor the 7-Up soft drink? And that is Scott. Lemon and lime. Lemon and lime is correct. All right. <sighs> Your choice, sir. Roll it or pass. Ray, take it. All right. Ray, you must roll me a two, five, seven, eight, or ten to stay in the game. All right. Lady Luck's been on my left side so far tonight. Let's do it. Rolls and gets a double, but it's a four. So I'm going to hold on the insurance marker. I ask you to roll again. All right. Do it again. Let's do it, and we get a seven. Five and the two. Five and two come off the board. All right. It's going to come down to this. The lonely snowman left up there. So this question should be it for our match. Here it comes. Dominoes, chess, or poker? Which popular board, uh, sorry, which popular game has varieties called stud and Scott? Poker. And draw. Poker is correct. All right, Scott, only the eight remains. Do you want to roll it or do you want to pass it? If you can roll the eight, Ray, you deserve to keep the title. I'm giving it over to him. All right, Ray, all yours, sir. One shot, give me an eight. You remain as champion. If not, Scott's going to become our new champion. All right, no matter who, no matter what, good game. Let's roll. 
roll is a five, oh. a bad roll, and Scott Michaels, our new champion. Oh, my God. Great game, Ray. The dice were with you, dude. For well played for both of you there. Scott, you are our new champion. We'll talk to you in a minute. Ray, unfortunately, your time on the show with us was very short, but did you enjoy it while you were here? You know, for as much as I made with not buzzing in for one question, I'll, I'm more than happy with that. And nothing, nothing to be ashamed about that at all, but you're not, not going home empty-handed by any means. You picked up $1,000 this game to add what you won previously. You leave us here on High Rollers with a nice total of $52,951, sir. Well, thanks for playing. Thank you. And we'll look forward to having you back again next time. And until then, Scott Michaels... Well done for you, sir. $54,080 plus the $5,000 you won previously. So that's going to give you now $59,080. Are you excited to play the big numbers here in just a moment? I want the golden dice. Well, you can't touch them yet because it's not time for it. But it will be very, very soon as we take a short commercial timeout. When we come back, Scott Michaels is going to take his shot to see if he can't win himself over a hundred, uh, win himself a hundred thousand dollars in cash as he plays the big numbers right after this here on High Rollers. Stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers here. Scott Michaels, our new champion now with over $59,000 currently in this run as champion. And now he's going for hundred grand on the big numbers. Sir, you know how this works. You've seen it before. Let's see if you can make it happen again. Here is the golden dice. You can now touch them. Yay. They're touch. so shiny. I know. I know. They're heavier, too. So let's see if you can turn that... Turn these into a hundred thousand dollars. Good luck to you. All right, come on. I could use some doubles. Let's go. First roll of the dice is a six. Hard way. All right, six comes off. You got a thousand dollars. All right, come on. Ten. And gets a five. Well, hard, hard five. Five by itself comes off the board. Two thousand dollars. Come on, let's see a big number, please. Let's go. And you got yourself an eight. Hard eight. All right, eight by itself. One number at a time. It'll get you there. Three thousand dollars. And let's go. And gets a seven. No, <laughs> missing a dot there. Oh, sorry, six. Yeah. Oh God, how do I want to do this? Um, four and the two, I guess, gives me more options. Yeah, I'm gonna say with the yeah, there's two ways to do it, but yeah, if we go with the four and the two, that comes off. You got six, uh, five thousand dollars so far. Numbers left one, three, seven, and nine. I'm hoping for some combination to get the one off. Let's go. And you, oh, five, oh, a bad roll there. That's, oh, that's not a combination I can do. No, unfortunately, that is not, sir. I'm sorry about that, but hey. Not too shabby there. $5,000 in cash, which is pretty good. Add that to the $59,080 you had previously. Gives you a total now of $64,080. Hey, I'll take that. Not too shabby at all, sir. But the important thing is you're champion now, so now you're going to join us back here next time because we're all out of time for this episode. Did you have fun while we were playing, though? Oh, God, yeah. Well, look, I always love this game. Well, hopefully you come back next time have a little bit better luck here if you can get back here to the big numbers next time. But that we're out of time for this one, folks. Again, thank you so much at home for watching. We love the support that you've been giving us. We're almost at 1,600 subscribers, and you can help us get there by just clicking that subscribe button down below and ringing the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. But in the meantime, between time, till we get these dice rolling once again and we try to give away some more money and prizes, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time right here on High Rollers. So then, so long, everybody. <laughs>